Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have been traveling this week from Cape Town all the way to Dublin. So I'm currently at my mom's house. So today's video is going to be a little bit rough around the edges. I apologize for that in advance, but I did want to get an upload out today. Um, so bear with me. Today's video is really just a couple of quick sketches in my sketchbook. I just wanted to talk about how to stay open and inquiring as a figure drawing student when you're building up your drawing practice. I'll be the first to admit really that I don't know that much about anatomy or the skeleton or the muscle system when it comes to figure drawing and really that's one of the reasons why I don't talk about it that much on this channel. Um, there are so many great resources on YouTube for that topic. Proco in my view is the ultimate library for anyone who wants to develop their art deepen their drawing skills in terms of structure and getting things right. Um, another channel that's great, I think, is Branwyn Jones. And of course, the amazing David Finch is here for anyone who wants a masterclass in drawing. Um, anyone interested in drawing structurally correct and an anatomically correct figures, uh, check, check out his channel. I do appreciate that I can draw the figure well enough and I certainly know what landmarks I need to look out for when I'm drawing. This is probably why, you know, I kind of, my drawings seem to be correct. So yes, that obviously comes with practice and with time. But one of the things that really helped me a lot over the years and I think is much more of a standout and which I wanted to share with you today is using my line work as a method of understanding the structure. And that's to say, using my line as a searching line to figure out where everything is. And I wanted to explain that you can use your line to understand your subject as well as use your line to make drawing of your subject. In other words, your line work can be a method of discovery. As a figure drawing student, I think it's vital that you are open to all kinds of approaches and that you learn from as many resources that you have available to you. Those resources might not always be there. Don't ever restrict yourself to just one way. Um, don't think that what I express on this channel is the only way, even if I say that it is. And if you find a way that works for you, don't let anyone else tell you that it's the wrong way. And it's such an important part of anybody's artistic journey, no matter what kind of art you want to make. What I really appreciate so much about the approach that I was taught is that it's a way of constantly learning how to draw the figure. It's not an end goal or a, a set of steps or anything like that. It's really a method that constantly changes and evolves as you grow and deepen as an artist. Gesture drawing isn't just a way to make a simplified version of the figure. It's a way to draw with this method of inquiry. If that's not how you like to think of it, and if it's helpful to you in your drawing to just simplify things into blocks and shapes, then that's great. For drawing, as I said in my last video, your natural way of drawing can never be wrong. All you have at the end of the day as a figure drawing student is your line work. How you use your line to describe what you see is totally up to you. Gesture is just one way that helps you to discover your natural expression, as well as being a way to describe what you see or understand in your world. So the fundamental difference between, say, simplified lines or symbols and gesture lines is that 
gesture lines are marks that have meaning because they are a direct response to what you see. Symbols, on the other hand, are merely placeholders. And I think it's much more interesting to see a drawing that is authentic, even if it is wrong in inverted commas, or if someone tells you it's wrong because it doesn't have the right landmarks. Uh, what's much more interesting to me than a perfect figure drawing is how your drawing is as much a representation of you as it is of your subject. That can only ever come through by using authentic responsive marks. Whichever way you think about it, gesture drawing is mark making. So understanding how you express yourself in the first place, I think is about as important as any major finished masterpiece artwork that you will ever create. I hope this makes sense. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.